This is Warren DeKalb, How Are You? With Susan Cathers, Michael Martin, and I use only number one news team. Warren DeKalb, How Are You? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jason Frummer from Warren DeKalb, How Are You? In light of my recent poor decisions that I've made in life, I've decided that uh, the only thing I can do now is wait patiently for death. Would you watch where you're going? It isn't quite clear to me whether or not I'll return to the show because... I really just don't have the ambition to do it anymore. So I'm sorry to all my fans, my two fans. They wanted me to come back. Welcome to War and DeKalb. How are you? I'm Michael Martin. And I'm Susan Cathers. What you just saw is the end result of Jason Frummer's involvement with this broadcast. It's very unfortunate it had to end that way, but, you know, we got to keep on. Yes, he is basically withered to nothing, folks. And I'm not surprised, seeing how this is the final episode of Warren DeKalb, How Are You? But in other news, last week, Donald Trump demanded that President Obama show us his birth certificates and high school transcripts. But most Americans are still trying to figure out exactly what nationality his hair is. Sorry, ladies and princess wannabes all over the world. Prince William is officially off the market. Last week, he wed Kate Middleton in an elaborate royal ceremony that included carriages, palaces, and 45 Lady Gaga wannabes. President Barack Obama proved just how American he is by capturing and killing Osama bin Laden. Now, earlier Wait this minute, week... Michael. Did you hear that? I think we have um, an unidentified correspondent already covering that story. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who is this? Hello? What, what do you got for us? Hello, Michael. Susan. I'm Jason Frummer, and uh, I'm here with the latest on the Osama Bin Laden story. Jason! Jason! What, what are you doing? Where are you? Well, guys, I'm right here. Jason Frummer is in the studio! Jason, come on over. Take a seat. Don't mind if I do. Jason! Jason, you're back! Oh, we missed you so much! Finally, but enough of this rubbish. Tell us the latest on Osama bin Laden. After reevaluating my life and realizing I had no drive to do this show anymore, finally, there comes the breaking news story that I've been waiting for. The breaking news story that pulled me out of my wheelchair and willed me to go on as a journalist. Osama bin Laden has finally been killed shot by Navy SEALs, and America couldn't be happier. We thought this guy was living in a cave like Gollum. Turns out, he's living the sweet life in Pakistan like Hugh Hefner. Well, one thing's for sure. Obama's laughing himself all the way to re-election with this. Susan? Michael? Well, we are reaching the end of Word to Calb. How are you? This is the final show of the year. Now, it feels good to be back. I'm glad we're, uh, we're closing strong on this one. Yep. Let's take a look at what went into season two right now. <laughs> He's, <sorry. laughs> He's looking at him laughing. Yeah. For the next five days. Oh, I didn't say that. I want to redo it all. Oh, all? Okay, yep. we're our newest part. I can't talk. It was. By banging the t- Banging. <laughs> oh, now, brown cow. Yeah. Oh, now, uh, brown cow. Is it good, bad? I got a very boisterous voice. This is it. Our final Whithay moment. I wish I never would have left. 
just want to do this forever. I'm sure they all want us to do this forever. But Susan, Jason, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Sean. That is the show. That's the show. Oh, the last one. That's the show.